Cross-Cultural Communication, Diversity Challenges. Here you see a diversity wheel. Look over these different areas. So there are five different rings around the center here and you are going to choose two areas to compare how your culture is different from the United States culture. You will share your ideas in class. So an example may be I would look at work ethics and I do not believe that the young people being raised today have strong work ethics like I do in my country. You just finished the review of diversity wheel? Check. Resolving cross-cultural misunderstandings. Be aware that our own nonverbal communication might be insulting to others. It is your right not to accept offensive behavior. Ignoring it gives permission for it to continue. Cross-cultural conflict may occur when a person uses inappropriate verbal or nonverbal behavior towards another. Keep your cool. Tell the person that their actions are upsetting you. If he or she apologizes, accept it. If no apology, let it go. Just one time. If it happens again, take action. The action taken depends on the parties involved. Common stereotypes. Where would you place these two groups? Over column A or column B? So if you notice column A, it says dependent, weak, incompetent, less important, implementers, supporters, fragile, exclusion, and passive. Column B, independent, powerful, competent, more important, decision makers, leaders, protectors, inclusion, and active. So good. Where would good fall? Do you think that's column A or column B? And you're going to write this on your note paper that you downloaded from Canvas. Bad, does that come under column A or column B? So pick one or the other for each of the words. Youth elderly, young people and very older people, much older people than adults. So you're going to give a rating for youth and elderly, column A or B, and adult, A or B men and women, blacks and whites, disabled and abled. Reviewed the common stereotypes, diversity wheel, check. Cross-cultural communication differences. So you have people who communicate informally or formally, direct or indirectly. Individuals and their families respond positively when they understand others act the way that they do. They feel more comfortable when their communication style differences are recognized and respected. So under informal, you can pause the video at this time and you can practice your reading for each of the four categories because you're going to have to decide what kind of communicator you are. So you see the informal and formal are just about opposites. Then you have direct and indirect. Take the time and think about where you fall in each of these groups. Are you an informal or formal communicator? Are you direct or indirect? And be ready to share your two answers in class. So I'll put them back up on the screen again and you can make your decisions. Review of your communication differences. Check, check, check. And remember, all people have the right to be treated with dignity and respect. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.